Hello, YouTubers and free CAD enthusiasts. One of the things that uh, I see come up quite often over on the free CAD Facebook page that I'm a member of is new users having trouble with importing SVG drawings into their CAD models. It's always the same issues. And so I thought I would put together a two-part video series on importing SVG files into your free CAD models. In this first part, the basics, we're going to import a nice clean SVG uh, into FreeCAD and apply it to a simple model. One tool you are going to need is Inkscape. Inkscape is an illustration program very much like Adobe Illustrator. In fact, if you have Adobe Illustrator, you could use it as well. But if you don't, you'll want Inkscape. It's free, open source, just like FreeCAD, and I will put a link in the video description below where you can go to download it. Play with it a little bit, familiarize yourself with it a little, and then we'll apply it to FreeCAD. So let's get started importing an SVG to a simple FreeCAD model. Over here in FreeCAD, I have created this simple little pendant. Let's say I'm making this for my daughter, my child. This is a 30 millimeter diameter area, and I want to put a butterfly on it because my child likes butterflies. Over here on svgrepo.com, which is a free supplier of icon style uh, images and vectors, I have found the butterfly that I want to use on my pendant. I have downloaded the SVG vector. And the next thing I want to do is I want to open this in Inkscape to inspect it and scale it. So here I am with Inkscape version 1.4, which is current, and I am going to do a new document. So here's my new document. I am operating in millimeters. You can uh, change that right here. Uh, we want to stay in millimeters if we're using millimeters in FreeCAD. If you're using inches, you go to inches. So I'm going to open that SVG file that I downloaded. So here's the file. We'll hit open and it pulls it in. Now you can see it's quite large. How big? Well, I'll select the whole thing and we'll change our units back to millimeters. This file was saved in pixels. There we go. And here is our width and our height. 211 millimeters by 159. So we're going to have to scale that down. It's easy enough to do. I could just grab the handle and I could just start scaling it like this, but I know that my pendant is a 30 millimeter uh, circle. So what I might choose to do is actually draw a simple circle. I'll hold down the uh, control key so I'm making an actual round circle. And if it's a solid shape, you can come over to the um, uh, fill and stroke menu under object, which will bring this fill and stroke panel up over here. You can set uh, fill to none. Uh, stroke paint sets your color for the line, so we'll set that to black. Red, green, and blue are all at zero. Stroke style is the line, and it's just a solid line here, so that's fine. Um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to use this as a frame so I know how big my butterfly needs to be. So I'm going to use the selector tool, and I'm going to scale this to be 30 millimeters. There we go. Now I know about how small to make my butterfly. So let's select our butterfly again with the selector tool. And we will scale it down. And we'll move it over here. Oh, snapping. This magnet up here, snapping, that's that will snap things together. I'm going to turn that off right now so I can fr freely scale and move this. And we'll move it down to where that lower corner is just inside the frame. And then I'll grab this handle and we'll scale it down. It's getting close. I think that's actually about the right size right there. Okay. Let's delete that circle. We don't need it. Now in Inkscape, this upper left corner of the page is coordinate 0, 0. So this would be the equivalent of the origin point in FreeCAD, uh, 0, colon 0. So what I want to do is I want to move my shape up to where it is centered on this upper left corner. So again, I'm going to use the selector tool. I'm going to draw a box to select the whole thing. And I'm going to drag it up here to this corner. 
Let's zoom in. I'm using the mouse scroll wheel to zoom. And I will uh, center this pretty much on that point. That's where I want it to be when I import it into FreeCAD. So now that I've got it there, I'm going to resave this file over its existing name. File, save. And we are done in Inkscape for now. We've scaled our object. We've moved it up to the origin point. Let's go back to FreeCAD. So I'm back here in FreeCAD with my model. And it is in the part design workbench, so I have a body. I'm going to import the SVG file. We'll come up here to File and Import. And here is our butterfly. I'll open that. It'll ask me if we want to import it as an image or as geometry. We want to import it as geometry in this case. With some SVGs, you might be better off importing it as an image and just tracing it in the sketcher. That really depends upon the situation. In this case, it's a simple drawing, so I'm going to import it as, an, as a geometry. Now, it looks like nothing has happened. But it's underneath our body here. I'm going to hide my pendant by hitting the space bar. And now you can see there is our butterfly. Over here in the model tree, you'll see that it came in as a bunch of paths. What we want to do is we want to convert this into a sketch so that we can manipulate it in something that FreeCAD understands. And there is a tool to do that over on the draft workbench. And it's right here, this blue uh, over red design. Draft to sketch. Convert bidirectionally between draft objects and sketches. This will convert paths and wires into a single sketch. This grid always comes on when you're in the draft workbench. And you'll use this little waffle pattern to turn that off if, you, if it bothers you. So what we do is we come over here and we select all of the paths in our SVG, so they're all selected. This will convert whatever is selected into a single sketch. So I'll come up to the Draft to Sketch and click it. It might take a little while if you have a fairly complex um, SVG. In this case it was really quick because we only have just a few simple paths. Now that I've got that converted to a sketch, I don't need these paths anymore so I can delete them and we can go and look at our sketch. Now you might end up with a big mess like this with a whole bunch of this these artifacts and odd things. These are all combs. These are all, these are all helpers that FreeCAD can provide for certain types of B splines. Most all SVGs are going to come in as a series of B splines. Not lines and curves, but actual B splines. To turn all this mess off you want to look for this tool here, Show and Hide B-Spline Information Layer. And we're going to go down and we're just going to turn on or turn off the different parts. There we go. Each of these is a different type of helper. That looks a little more manageable. Oh, nope, I don't want those. And I want to turn off. Nope, I don't want that off. There we go. So you you can go through here and turn off all of those if you you know don't want to look at them. So here we've got our uh, our uh, imported sketch, or our imported SVG converted to a sketch, and it looks pretty good. Uh, you want to make sure that you know all the wires are closed. This is a very straightforward SVG I picked. It's a real clean one. In some cases, you're going to end up with a lot of issues, and but we'll do, deal with those in part two. Right now it looks like everything is okay, but we're going to verify that. So I'll, I'll close the sketch, and with it highlighted, I'm going to go back to Part Design, and under the Sketch menu, we have this Validate Sketch option. I'm going to turn that on. That brings us this tool where we can check things about our sketch. One common thing you'll find with imported SVGs when you convert them to a sketch is missing coincidences. So I'm going to hit find. And yep, it found one right there. One missing coincidence found. And you can see a little orange at this corner down here. So there was a, there's a part there where the wire is not closed. So I'm going to hit fix. And that fixes that. 
And then I'm going to hit this highlight troublesome vertices. Nope, no problems there. If there was another uh, point where the wire was not closed, we would see it highlight as well over here. So everything looks good now. Let's close this. Now we can work with this sketch. Let me bring back my model body. And what I want to do is I want to attach it to this surface. Right now the sketch is just sitting on the XY plane. If we look at it here, map mode says deactivated. It's not attached to anything. So what we want to do is we want to attach it to a surface on our model. Here in map mode you can see this little three dot menu for our sketch. I'm going to click that and that brings up our attachment dialog and this first reference says selecting. I'll come over here and I'll click on the face and now our butterfly is attached to that face. If we scroll down here we also have uh, some things where we can offset move our sketch around in either direction or any direction to center it the way we want and in this case I also need to rotate it around Z so it's right side up and so we'll come down here around the Z axis and rotate it 180 degrees oh now I need to move it a little to center it that's about where I want it so now our sketch is attached to that surface and we can do whatever we want with it. Well, maybe. I just collapsed the body and you can see our sketch is actually outside of the body. This is another gotcha that gets a lot of people confused. We need to drag our sketch into the body. There, now it's in line with the rest of the items in the body. It's not shifted over. Now we can work with it. So let's say we wanted to uh, emboss it. We could pad. Maybe one millimeter. And there we go. We now have our SVG on our pendant and ready to print. So that's the basics of importing a clean SVG uh, into FreeCAD and applying it to a model. That's the method I like to use anyway. In part two, we will get into some of the issues and problems you might have with certain SVGs and how to deal with them and how to uh, handle issues and problems you'll have with uh, sketches that you convert from some SVGs in FreeCAD. Once that video is done and uploaded, I will add it to the description below where you can uh, link to it. Um, so, I hope this was uh, helpful, and uh, we'll see you in part two. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.